new buds. Cardi that looks like a blazer, but there are no buttons, so it's a Cardi, but it has a lapel like a blazer. And by the way, both colors are stunning. That's oh, going to so be the gorgeous. midnight teal with yellow. What? This is going to be black with this Polynesian coral pink and golden rod. Really beautiful. 100% cotton machine wash. And I love that it has this like thick facing in the front so that when it cascades open. It stays. It, it'll, you see this beautiful solid oh. thing. It's so special, right? It cascades, it also can act like just a Revere collar if you want it What's to. What's a Revere collar? A Revere collar just goes like that. Okay, got yeah. it. Right. So wait, with the you thing. have never done this. I know, we've never done this. It's such a great... So where did this come from? Well, you know, it came from this idea that we like things a little bit softer, a little bit easier, you know? Yeah. And to us, this is like the easiest, the softest possible way to do a cardigan, you know? Also, wow. I love that it's almost a jacket, right? That's what I'm saying. It's called a cardigan, but it's almost, it has a little bit more polish than your average cardigan, mm. and it gets worn in a little bit more polished a way than your average cardigan. Again. And look at the colors. And look at that incredible, incredible floral print. I love it because, you know, but either of these colors are perfectly wearable 12 months a year. Mm -hmm. But I do oh, love the yeah. autumnal feeling of these but colors. For spring? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, for sure. I, mm -hmm. I would say go bananas with this for yeah, spring. Yeah, me too. Me too. Or resort. Start wearing or something. like resort. This totally I looks mean, if to you're me going a bit like somewhere resort. Over Christmas, you know. And I'm going to just say right now that Linda's wearing it exactly the way I was in my head, mm -hmm. mentally painting the picture with the white. You'll see her in a second. I like, love these pieces, Sean. Mm -hmm. You know why? They go so well for like holiday in town if you're going to parties and it's snowing, etc. As an Anna, you know what I mean? Like Anna looks like she's ready. And then look at Linda. Resort. Right? Linda is giving me like islandy kind of chic dressed up, right? Like she could actually be, Barbados, I don't know where, like maybe? in Saint, where? Barbados. Barbados, absolutely. Yes, she could. She I could. mean, it's just. Great. You see what I mean? Or if she's wearing it with like linens or something like oh. that, it could be just great. But isn't that funny? That's what I love about this. Normally the color scheme and also the floral that's chosen tend to skew and hover in one season or another, but not all. Yeah. This does year I know. round. It does. It's funny because some of the most springtime looking cardigans that we do work so well. I see a lot of women wearing them in the middle of fall and winter. It's the weirdest thing. Like I've been seeing a lot of girls in what I consider some of my more springtime floral cardigans, yeah. but I see them and they look amazing. They look so great, like mixed with more fall things. But this particular one, to me, of all the sweaters we do, like I don't know why, but this floral gives me 12 months a year, you know? It's so it's pretty. Fantastic. Again, it's new right now. It's called the Floral Printed Open Front Cardigan. 100% cotton machine wash. Yeah. Has that beautiful cascading really open front lapel. With so that wide facing, that solid wide is facing. Is that the piping part that That's I keep referring well, to? This is the piping. Is that piping? This is piping. The, and the what's sort the of facing? Marigold. This inside? The facing is this inside yeah, panel. It's great. Right? Which is like sort of like stitched down so it's not going to be annoying. Sometimes they're annoying, they fly around. And by the way, your they cotton on this feels know. like cashmere. I know, doesn't What's it feel great? That? I just, I, I, it just keeps getting better. You know, the more you do something, the more you get. How it's to so refine crazy something. how cotton with you becomes a luxury well, fabrication. Oh, darling, <gasps> darling, you know me. It's beautiful. And Thank you were you. saying, what floral does this resemble? Well, it looks like an aster to me. It looks like an autumn flower, right? Like, it looks like one of those, like like a dahlia or an aster. aster. Yeah, it does to me. Can we show the leaves for a second? Because that's pretty extraordinary too. It's it becomes almost in certain ways photo real. Yeah. Because the leaves are so yeah. dimensional. <laughs> The veining, the high lows, the shadows. It's a beautiful print, you know. It also gives me like somehow like wallpaper or something, like a kind of like a colonial wallpaper. It's yeah, such a yeah. good look. It's great. Yeah. Great, great. It's a great. really, really and good look. The teal is really The teal pretty. is beautiful. The ground is teal and then it has this kind of like golden rod moment over top, golden flowers, right? And then the black, the black which is called black, I know, it's with super those divine. Corals. Corals and then a yellowy kind of kind of a leaf. It's good, right? It's so good. Um, so new today and also to you know w when we talk about um, holiday dressing one thing I think is awesome to point out because it's so true I've just started the conversation with people that I know tons of people go south for the holidays yes they tons do. tons of people are spending time for the holidays with family and climates that are um, tropical and mm -hmm. envious so um, yes you know, I have to say, as we as we point out that this is a year-round piece, mm -hmm. it's pretty extraordinary that you could be wearing this like Linda, like Anna, 
in like full on snow I with mean, riding boots, who, but then in the island. A lot of people island. I know are going to like Florida for Thanksgiving totally. and stuff like that. I mean, you'll get this home in time for that. You'll get this home by the time, way in time to prepare for Thanksgiving. But if you were actually staying in town and you were wondering what you were going to wear for Thanksgiving, here's a great sweater right? to get. I Plus think it's so. it's comfortable. It's not all stiff and uptight. Absolutely. And you'll wear it for Thanksgiving and then you'll wear it every other day after Thanksgiving. Yep. You know, like sometimes I like to hold something to premiere on a special day and then after that, it's like, you know, I like wear it whenever I want. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Totally. Yeah. Like a special thing and then it goes for every day. Um, Sidetracking for a second. So this piece is new today. Um, today is Halloween. That's right. So you have no Ooh. big plans tonight. Not really. Are no. you a scary person? Do you enjoy horror movies or do they freak you out? <sighs> it depends. I never get scared from horror movies. Okay, it doesn't I like, freak you out. I like some horror movies freak me out just a little bit. Understood. I don't, know. I don't even know which ones. When they're done well, they, they freak me out. But for you, you're not like a dress up and or hand out candy person because you well, live in a building and there's not that thing. That's the thing. No, there is. There, there is, is a thing. Like if you put the pumpkin on your door, that means come to my door. But the thing is, my dogs would probably flip. scare the kids. They'd flip and there'd be a lot of barking and it wouldn't be so good. And it so would just be drama. And the thing is, I'd have to leave them in my office, which I don't want to do. That's I want to be with fair. my dogs. I know. If I just have the night. So just so turn, it's terrible. turn the kids I'm sorry. away. Turn I'm just the kids a, away. I've become like the Scrooge of Halloween. <laughs> Even though I really like, I really like ah! Halloween. You should get, you know, during this time of year, people as decorations put up caution tape or police tape around oh, their front yards nice. to mimic a crime scene. Nice you should idea. get some of the police tape and just put it around your door. Okay, just be like, that's Kids, a really funny idea. Don't go now, trick or treating here. Now, where and when am I supposed to take the time to get police not tape? Sure. Okay, I'm not I'm sure. I'm just saying. But I'm sure you have people that can make this happen. I know you're you have right. People. Except just making the phone call, I'm sidetracked like 700. I it's understand. like I pick up my phone and I see like a text that goes like, yes, right? Okay, yeah. so maybe not worth it. No. Maybe not worth it. Hey, did you see um, did you see Project Runway All Stars last night? It was really good. I didn't, the but I'm hearing episode. such good things. And by the way, we are the official 